Hi everyone, this is Phil from statisticsmentor.com. In this video, I want to talk about correlation and multiple linear regression. Now, it's um, I've seen that some students think that if there's a correlation between two variables, y and x, it must mean that x is should be in the regression model. I want to show you that this is not the case, so we should be careful in interpreting co correlations. Or should I say we should be careful in using just the correlation the scatter plots to determine what predictors should be in the model. Let's look at the scatter matrix scatter plot first. For this example, which is from healthcare funding, so I've got three variables. I have funding, I've got the rate of disease, and I've got visits to clinics. So funding is healthcare funding. So we said so in this example funding is a IV disease rate. That is the D V visits, that's another IV. So I want to see the effect of funding and uh, visits to um, a clinic on the rates of disease reported. Bring up the scat matrix scatter plot, legacy dialogues scatter plot, matrix scatter, take the variables over to the matrix variables box, OK. Here is a matrix scatter plot. It shows high positive, so let's, our dependent variable is reported disease rates, this on the y-axis, so we're reading along here. So this one shows us that there is a positive correlation between reported disease rates and healthcare funding. This one also shows us a positive correlation between reported disease and visits to healthcare center. All right, so they're both positive and they look pretty moderately strong at least, so that suggests that can fit a multiple regression and both with both funding and visits as IVs. Now at this stage some students think ah they should be from correlations it appears that they should be significant. Let's see if that's the case. Analyze, we've got to fit multiple regression now. So analyze, regression, linear, dependent variable box, disease, independent, the IVs, funding and visits. Click OK. Now, assuming that certain conditions of classical linear regression model are satisfied, the t-test will be valid. So let's assume that's the case. Let's go over to the coefficients box. Healthcare funding, visits, these are the IVs. Healthcare funding, is it significant? P-value is 0.9. It's bigger than 0.05, so it's not significant. Visits to healthcare provider, 0.046, it's on the boundary, so we could say, ah, you know, use your common sense here, say it's significant, would expect that. So the correlation, the scatter plot showed us a positive correlation between healthcare funding and reported disease rates, but in a multiple regression, you can see that it is not significant. So in other words, that uh, it is not a predictor, according to this model, not a predictor for reported disease rates. How can we explain this? Well, I ain't going to explain it. Just to say that with correlations, correlations just looks at the linear relationship between two things. So it's very, very specific. Whereas when we're doing some multiple regression here, we're looking at the relationship between two things, but controlling for or conditioned on other things. In other words, we are taking we we'll look at a relationship between, say, two specific things. Like in this, if we're looking at this coefficient, we're looking at a relationship between healthcare on disease rates, but we're controlling for other variables, such as here visits to healthcare provider and other things if I included it in the model. Okay, so that's the difference. So, we all, the message here is 
got to be careful about using correlation to determine what sh IVs uh, should be in our model or what we expect our IVs to be in our model just by using correlation. We should use determined IVs in our model, we should f use a theory from whatever field we've obtained the data from. So in this case we should be using theory from healthcare. If we're building a model, an economic model, we should be using economic theory to, to determine what should be the IVs and so on. Right, so the main message to come out of this is that if something appears to be correlated it doesn't mean that they're going to be significant. End of.